How you doing boys? It's uh, Ruger 2007 again. I uh, just wanted to do a quick video here. I'm out in my bush uh, on the back of my property here. I'm out clearing up some shooting lanes. So you can see, just uh, on a main trail. It's almost like a highway here for where the deer come down. It's getting ready for bow season and rifle season, so just picking a new spot to put up a tree stand. Of course, I'm out uh, also getting the old MRE lunch for ready here. just wanted to show you two things real quick. Uh, a lot of people have been watching in uh, various bushcraft kits and you know you hear about the Lapo Bark Lounger or whatever it's called, saber saws. Um, for those who are looking at just entry level for a really good saw, you know, go hit Walmart, get the Kuglin or Koglins or however you want to pronounce her name. It's an extremely aggressive saw, very sharp, and I mean it's it's ripping through well it ripped through all this stuff right here in seconds. Right? Same with all over here. This is ripping it up, you know, as I'm cutting out the, the shooting lanes. You don't need to go and buy yourself, you know, a eighty dollar saw or whatever, or whatever those things are worth. You know, Coglins, they got this thing for twelve dollars at, at Canadian Tire. Uh same thing at Walmart, you know. Um equivalent to that is with the be the bushcraft knives. You know, a lot of us hunters, uh, we look at a bushcraft knife and we, you know, to us it's, you know, it's a hunting knife. It better be razor sharp and it better be good and keep an edge. And what I found <clears throat> is uh, the new buck knife. Okay. This one's made by Buck. You can see right there. Plastic handle. It's a full tang though. All right. It's a rubberized grip. Uh, you've got your thumb handle here and it's serrated for if you want to do a little more detail work. This thing is razor razor sharp. I touched myself uh, just goofing around here one day on the bush. All I did was touch my finger and split it wide open. I mean, it holds in a very very sharp blade, uh, edge on it. Similar to a Scandi grind if you're familiar with it. Um, it's a nice thick blade. Short so it's easy to control. Uh, rubberized grip is great because if it gets wet or you have blood in your hands it's not going to slip out and that's the most dangerous thing you can have happen with a knife you know and you don't want that so you know it's nice and ergonomic uh, it holds very well in the hand you know and it's got the the hole there which I attached some paracord to uh, it's nothing to touch the blade up and I use a, a Lansky sharpener I use two different styles I have the ones that has the clamp that goes on the blade and holds the blade um, and then with the various stones and I also use, just for sweetening it up, I got a, a carbide uh, slide that goes across the blade. Three passes of that, and that thing's like a razor blade again. Uh, you can't go wrong with this. I beat the piss out of it. I have uh, stuffed it in the, in the side of a blade and stood on it, or the side of a tree and stood on it. I've used it for batoning. I've taken it right down to, well, okay, we're in Canada, so we got the Canadian Shield, so there's a lot of granite around, and I've actually s slammed the, the blade itself into the granite and turned around afterwards and did feather sticks with it. So, like it's it's extremely tough knife. Uh, I know, and that, this thing was only thirty bucks. You know, uh, Rapla, who's known for their fillet knives, uh, has kind of stepped over towards our area more uh, with the hunting knives. Now they've got one out, and they, it is razor razor sharp, which is expected with a Rapla. A little bit higher priced, it was about forty bucks. Um, but you want a good knife that you're not going to kill it. If a hole is an extremely sharp blade, uh, buck knife is the way to go. You know, it's tried, tested, and true. It's been around for a thousand years amongst hunters. You know, the old, even when we were kids, we had the old folding buck knives. Uh, that was the old staple back in the day, and uh, now they're coming out with more of a uh, bushcraft hunting knife style. Uh, and you can't go wrong, boys. So, the other side, I point these two things out. You know, again, this one is uh, Canadian Tire, I think 30 bucks. Uh, you can get them at Walmart as well, you know great place to get a lot of your your outdoor stuff and uh, same with the Coglins the folding saw you know like I say I think it was about 12 bucks you know and it folds up really nice nice and compact it's extremely light you know for those of you that are looking for lightweight so it's very light you know you can't go wrong with these two things all right so I just thought I'd put that out there for you I'm gonna get back to work after I have my lunch here you know I'm get, the, get my canteen and get my food I'm good to go um, and then we'll go from there hope you enjoyed See you later.